Good morning. Today is April 30th, 2020, and this is the morning breach. Google has confirmed two new security vulnerabilities in its Chrome browser. These latest threats could enable an attacker to take control of your exploited system. Google has patched Chrome to version 81.0.4044.129 which resolves these issues. If you don't know how to check what version of Chrome you're on, open up Google Chrome, click the three little dots in the top right, go down to help about Google Chrome. If you're not on the latest version, this will automatically start the update process. Investors have sued LabCorp over security failures in light of a breach and ransomware attack. I believe it was last week or the week before I reported of a security breach at LabCorp. Um, and now investors are suing on top of the ransomware demand and on top of everything else they have going on as part of the, the breach response. Uh, now also investors are suing for security failures. So as a business owner, keep an eye obviously on that and raise the concern of protecting your security. According to a U.S. DOJ report, a medical device packaging company fired an employee said employee Christopher Dobbins accessed the company network with a fake user account he created while he was there. Um, he then created additional accounts that after he logged in successfully after being terminated, um, he created these new accounts. Uh, then he would edit and delete records that caused disruptions in the company's shipping process. Those disruptions caused delays <clears throat> in the delivery of PPEs to healthcare providers. Um, I think it's very important for you, uh, anytime you lay off, fire, remove a member of the IT staff, examine what they've done, what they haven't done, and look for ways you know that they have, may have planted a back door. Um, especially when you're firing or laying off that employee, if it is at all in a negative context, uh, you really should take the precaution for yourself to ensure that your data is protected and your systems are safe. Cyber, cyber criminals are beginning to use the official Google reCAPTCHA to create walls before fake Microsoft login pages. By using reCAPTCHA, the hackers present URL analysis, prevent URL analysis systems from accessing the actual malware slash phishing webpage, which makes the... <coughs> which makes the analysis software detected as a viable page or a good page. Um, so that is absolutely a critical thing. If you get something um, that's indicating and then it takes you right to a reCAPTCHA page and then a user login account, a red flag should be raised. And this is something every IT department, every security professional out there should have conversations with. Uh, a current campaign that's using this method is luring people with a voicemail receipt. Uh, ransomware shuts down Colorado-based Parkview Medical Center. The hospital has yet to disclose what systems, when it occurred, or if any patient data was impacted. Um, also, Illinois Valley Community College email website and administrative systems are offline due to a ransomware attack dated from April 24th. Clop ransomware leaked files stolen from ExecuFarm. Uh, two days ago, I reported ExecuFarm had a ransomware and a breach. Um, over the last couple days, uh, ransom negotiations has failed. So Clop, the group behind this ransomware, uh, released the data on the, uh, on the dark web, on the internet. Uh, so all that information now has to go through that breach process. Um, Checkpoint has discovered serious vulnerabilities in LearnPress, LearnDash, and Lifter LMS WordPress plugins that are used for large-scale online learning by top academic institution and businesses. An LMS system is required for a lot of security compliances, uh, you know, as long as it has the cybersecurity training, because you have to be able to track who's done what training and what training they've done. So knowing that kind of the top three LMS programs in WordPress have been breached uh, or not have been breached, but have uh, flaws in them. Definitely, like I said yesterday, take a look at your WordPress, log in, make sure all of your patches are updated. 
updated. Uh, make sure all your third parties get updated on a regular business uh, on a regular process. Um, the last thing I want to kind of cover is the average business payout for ransomware has surged to eleven thousand six hundred and five dollars, according to a Coveware report. Um, so that's what I have for you today. Have a great day. It is April 30th. It is the last day of the month. Uh, so let's have a great May, everybody. And I will see everybody here on Friday, May 1st. Cheers.